Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to another Fallout 4 mod review. Right now we are checking out the first of two weapon mod videos that are coming out today because another one has been hard at work. So, for the one we are looking at in this video we have the Walter PPK and Deliverer Replacer. Now this mod actually adds the Walter PPK into the level list so you will find it throughout the game on enemies, in chests, and on traders. However, it also replaces the Deliverer. So this one is twofold. Rather than just a Deliverer Replacer, it will, again, add it to the level list and replace the Deliverer. So the Deliverer remains the same, it is still the unique variant that you will find at the Railroad, but you can also find generic versions of this weapon out in the world. Now the difference between the generic Walter and the Deliverer is that the Deliverer actually uses 10mm rounds like it does in the vanilla game, whereas the Walter does not. And before we get into the nitty gritty details, this mod is flagged for ESL, which is great, doesn't contribute to that plugin limit. This mod is currently only available on PC, but maybe we will see a port to Xbox sometime in the future. So when it comes to the animations for the Walter PPK, here's what we get a look at. First of all, equipping, and then firing and reloading. Melee, grenade throwing, and sprinting. As for the stats, here's what we can take a look at. With no perks, the base damage of the Walter PPK is 16. It shoots 38 rounds, has a fire rate of 66, a range of 95, an accuracy of 58, a weight of 2.2 pounds, and a value of 189 caps and will start spawning in the world at level 25 and on traders at level 5. Now as for the Deliverer version of the Walter, it actually is a little bit different. First of all, when you find it, it does come equipped with some cool attachments like glow sights, a laser sight, and a suppressor. But additionally, it changes its ammo type to 10mm, which increases the base damage to 25, a fire rate of 66, a range of 125, accuracy of 68, a weight of 2.7 pounds, and a value of 356 caps. I really like this because other Walther mods or mods that aim to add a common version of the Deliverer, usually there's no distinction between those and the Deliverer itself, so there's no reason to pick it up. Whereas in this, although there is no legendary effect, the Deliverer does have some unique attributes like that changed ammo type, which is really, really cool. Now for attachments, there's not a ton to offer. However, that is plenty fine as what is offered is nice and quality. So for receivers, we have our standard allotment. However, now we have access to automatic receivers, unlike the standard Deliverer. So we have our standard frame, light frame, heavy frame, calibrated, hardened, and automatic receiver, automatic armor piercing, hair trigger, Powerful, Automatic Hardened, Calibrated Powerful, Automatic Hardened Piercing, and Automatic Powerful and Advanced Receivers. The Advanced Receiver will bring you up to a total of 28 damage, still shooting 38 rounds so that it's not too overpowered. For the Barrel, we have Standard and Improved. For Grips, we have Standard, Comfort, and Sharpshooters, which do not change the model itself. For the Magazine, we have Standard, Extended, Medium, Medium Extended, Long and Long Extended. The Long Extended had to squeeze in those extra two rounds to get you from 24 to 26. For sights, we have our standard sights, our glow sights, our mini red dot with mount, which looks like this, and the Romeo XL with mount, which looks like that. For muzzle, we have access to a suppressor. For the lower rail, we can choose to add a laser sight, and finally, there is a damage modifier from 0 all the way up to 90%. And finally, we're going to go ahead and test this weapon twice, once with the least amount of damage and the base version of the weapon, and again, completely upgraded with the highest damage we could achieve, both times against a Deathclaw, the AI turned off so we can count the shots and see just how long it takes. So starting with the base version of the Walter. Okay, I think that was like 7 or 8 mags, each with 8 bullets. However, it does shoot 38s, and I don't have any pistol perks, so that is the truly base damage. Let's see if we can do better with the Deliverer. So, I've taken the Deliverer, and rather than opting for the highest damage receiver, I actually went for the highest damage automatic receiver. So, a little bit less damage, but higher fire rate. So let's see how quickly we can take this guy down.
And that one went down in just over a magazine, so it's definitely worth getting the upgrades for this thing. And even better if you'd grab some pistol perks. And that is the Walther PPK. I really like this one. Replacing the standard deliverer with a nicer model and texture and a few more attachments, as well as adding a regular version of the weapon out into the world so it's not super unique, is really cool. I like this one a lot, and it's worth checking out. Down in the description, I have it linked as always. And go support the mod author in any way that you can. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff that gets us into the algorithm and gets more Fallout 4 mod recommendations to the people that need them. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Peace! Thank you.